When Wall does come back from injury, how do you think that that situation is handled? Because 10 days ago, I was thinking to myself, Wall's going to have to play unbelievable for two weeks if he's going to steal the net off of Martin Jones. And I don't really Mm -hmm. think that right now. How do you see the scenario playing out when when Wall gets healthy? I think you just got to run. You got to keep running Marty, get Wall his games when he can, uh, depending on how he feels, you know, that you come back from injury. Give him as much as he can handle, as much as his body can handle. But you got to keep Marty Jones going. To me, it becomes a two horse. Those are your top two goalies right now. You know, Sam Sonov has, has had some ups and downs, and it's not unique to him. You know, all of us as goalies have gone through it, but he's had some ups and downs right now, and I just don't think the Leafs can afford to have him play through those ups and downs right now as such when Wool is healthy. So I think the net belongs to Marty Jones and Wool when, uh, when Wool comes back from his injury. Weeksy, where are you at with that tandem? Like, is that a trusted tandem for you? Do you believe that, you know, with with – Martin Jones playing so well, Wall being a an up and comer. Do you think that if if they're healthy, knock on wood for both mm-hmm. of them, that Tree would be comfortable with that situation, or do you think that maybe he's still trying to make a, a move to add to the depth of that group? That's exactly it, Noodles. I think a lot of it is predicated on the health. How healthy is Marty Jones? What is the timeline for his health? What is that in relation to the trade market? You know. At the end of the day, here's the thing. And I do think that that is a good tandem when both guys are healthy, both Marty Jones and, and Joseph Wolf, because he has a lot of upside. I said that since World Juniors when he was playing in Boston College. But I would say this, at the end of the day, let's talk in football terms and let's speak for everybody back home because we have CFL fans and, of course, you have NFL fans. But they understand enough about football. If I'm looking at the Kansas City Chiefs, if I'm looking down the turnpike here in Jersey at the Philly, at the Philly Eagles, if you're looking in Buffalo, just you know around Lake Ontario, if they don't have Jake Allen, if you don't have Patrick Mahomes, if you don't have um, Jalen Hurts, it's a different game. It's a, it makes for a different game, and you probably ask me where I'm going with this. Well, it's kind of become a different game for the Leafs because you know Freddie obviously played well. Freddie was really good but he got banged up with injuries, but Freddie played well. But you don't have a a true one horse right now, and it's kind of changes the dynamic. So what the best case scenario would be, would be to have Marty Jones and Joseph Wall in the net right now.